The last thing anybody wants now is an emergency. But like everything else, they're ready for that too. Once the crew are on board, if it looks as if they're in danger, they get out and head down this tube, specially insulated against fire, and zigzagging down not to some point out and away from the rocket, but to an escape room exactly where you'd think it shouldn't be. Three and a half minutes after they get the warning in the capsule, the crew could be down here in the blast escape room via that 200 foot escape tube, 40 feet below the base of the rocket. They find themselves in a totally rubber room, walls and floors, and they head for safety through a six inch steel door. Once they're behind that door, it doesn't matter what comes down this tube behind them. On this side of that door, the rarely seen blast escape room itself, it's totally isolated from everything around it by a series of 24 giant springs underneath the floor and shells all round it of steel, concrete and sand. It contains enough food, water and air for 20 people for up to 24 hours and it's all around the edge there are these foam rubber shock absorbing seats as you can see the room is built to withstand the simultaneous explosion of every drop of fuel on a saturn V. and in that event strapped into your shock absorbing seat if your rocket did blow itself to bits 40 feet above your head all you'd feel would be a mild rumble from somewhere up there